Happy Friday! It's Miss Casey. I hope everybody is doing well. Hello. Um, we are back sharing another fun activity. Um, it's pretty simple and there's a lot that you can do with it and um, share. I will explain that through my detailed steps, um, but that's it. I hope everybody is hanging in there. I miss each and every one of you. I hope you're being good for your moms and dads and grown-ups who are taking care of you. I'm sure you are, um, but counting down the days, hopefully I can see everybody's face. All right, take care and enjoy your weekend. So this is the Flower Power Mystery Science Activity. Um, as I go through the detailed steps, you will eventually find out why there is a twist to it, a mystery. But your first step is to cut out a square along the thick dashed lines of the paper that will be attached. You'll be able to print it at home. Now you're going to color your flower that you cut out. Flowers, as you know, come in all sorts of colors and patterns, so be creative. Now place your flower face down. Line up the corners and fold in half along the thick black line. And use your finger now to make a crease. Now this part you may need to help your little one. Now look for the sun in the corner. Bring that corner up until it meets the top of the flower just like that. And the next tricky part, you're gonna take the top left corner, fold it over along the line right there in the edge, and your paper is going to look like that with the scissors showing up right. Now the next part is cutting. Chloe is going to cut the first part, which is the easiest way to do straight up. Now turn it over and cut along that line. It's just easier than you have to fuss with the extras. And now she's going to open up her flower. And now once it's open, it's okay. You did it right if you still see this part here. It's okay, These you need these extra white parts that are sticking. Perfect. Now the next part to make your flower bloom, you're gonna fold each of your flower petals just like so to the right, each one. Start with that one petal and continue with each and every petal until they are all folded right to the middle. Yep, just repeat for each petal. And then your flower is going to look like that. Now we pour our water in. Not too much water, you can see it's just maybe what, not even a quarter cup. And we put our, just a touch of water. We did a casserole dish because you can see it and drop the flower in. Here's where the mystery becomes solved. Let's watch what happens to the paper flower. Wow. It's starting to bloom. super cool and it takes its time so you can watch it perfect your paper flower bloomed so this is the other cool part I thought of when um, sharing this activity and I spoke of earlier is that you can actually um, use this to send 
to a loved one or um, a friend maybe you're not able to see or a grandparent or obviously we're sending it to our um, their aunt my sister um, so you can actually use the flower you can print multiples of these and make the flower double-sided tape once you're finished with it and put it right here and then once you fold it in half on the other side it's um, you can make it into a card so go ahead Fold it over again like this. And there you go. Open it. Okay. So they open the card and it says, Dear Aunt Shannon, I made a flower that will bloom just for you. And then the directions are on the back. Pretty cool. Um, well, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend, like I said, and we miss you and thanks for sharing a moment with us.